In this video, I'm going to show you why you should use a VPN. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Every Bit Helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also please do head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk where related blog posts are also available. A VPN or virtual private network is a privacy and security tool that creates a secure tunnel between your device and the internet. A VPN takes care of your internet connection and helps you stay anonymous, whilst making your internet more secure and protecting your online traffic from snooping, interference and censorship. VPNs come in the form of downloadable software and it's usually subscription-based pricing. For those of you who are looking to sign up to someone like ExpressVPN, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the summary below. You can use a VPN to browse anonymously, disguising your whereabouts by connecting to a server in countries all over the world so your IP address and locations are hidden. Your IP address shows a lot about your location and your identity. Therefore, hiding this information is imperative when taking control of your online experience and puts you back in control of revealing your identity when you want to. Your internet traffic is also encrypted within your tunnel. Therefore, no one can see it but you and the people you're sending your data to, not even your internet service provider. With VPNs, there's always an element of logging, despite what they say, but some will log more information than others. For example, with ExpressVPN, they state that they don't log your activity or connections or anything that can be used to identify you. However, they still do log versions of apps, dates of connections, server locations, and total amount of data transferred per day, none of which enables ExpressVPN or anyone else to match an individual to a specific network activity or behavior. If you're concerned about anonymity, it's also worth purchasing your VPN subscription with the likes of Bitcoin, so the company doesn't hold any of your personal details other than your email address. You should use a VPN when connecting to an open or public Wi-Fi hotspot, which are areas where you get free Wi-Fi like the likes of an airport or cafe. Data on public networks are not encrypted between your computer and the hotspot, so it's open for anyone to be able to access your private information. Open or public Wi-Fi's can also be a worry when you're on your phone or mobile device. Most VPNs have apps where you can download onto your phone and you can usually run the software on several simultaneous connections or devices, which means that you can share with a family member or partner. Please be aware though that you can still be tracked on a mobile phone by tracking your location via GPS and by your mobile carrier. VPNs can also be used to unblock the likes of Netflix. This means that if you're from the UK and you fancy watching a show that's available in the US, you can do so by using a VPN server from the US or vice versa. So if you're from the UK and you want to watch your favourite soaps while you're travelling abroad or backpacking, you can also access the likes of BBC iPlayer and ITV by connecting to the UK. You can also use VPNs to unblock websites at work, school or defeat censorships in countries like China. Some governments monitor internet traffic to limit access to certain websites. However, a VPN acts like a website unblocker by routing your traffic through an encrypted tunnel so it can't be inspected, manipulated, or censored. So if you're in a part of the world where Facebook, Twitter, or Skype are blocked, you can easily unblock them with a VPN. To access these sites, all you need to do is connect to your VPN, choose the country you need to be in to access the content you want to see, and to connect. You may also find that when you're shopping online, you will get better prices by looking like you're connected to another country. You may not be aware, but some websites will charge more depending on the country, city, post or zip code, or even if you're using a Mac rather than a PC. By masking your true location, you may find that there are cheaper deals out there. You should also use a VPN with a Tor browser. Using Tor over VPN increases your privacy, by connecting to a VPN and then connecting to Tor, which is also known as Tor or Onion over VPN, you get the privacy and protection of the Tor network. At the same time, you're protected from any Tor node from seeing your IP address. By connecting in this way, your internet service provider will not be able to identify you as a Tor user, as all the network can see is encrypted traffic to your VPN server. With Tor over VPN, you can also get access to the Tor network where it is blocked, for example, in work, school, or in censored countries. 
For those of you who are wanting to find out a little bit more about Tor, I've also recently created a tutorial with more detail. So what I'll do is I'll pop that into the summary below for those of you looking for more information. So as you can see, there are so many reasons to use a VPN. For those of you who are looking to sign up to someone like ExpressVPN, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the summary below. And I hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you do, then please give me a like. Hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.